So what do you need for a call centre? From a PC point of view, they don't need to be anything fancy. Um, a basic system, uh, because the server does most of the work. Next thing is, invest in good headsets, but understand what works for the area. Because the big suction ones hurt people's ears. Having just the Bluetooth one, they struggle to hear. Because the next person next to them is talking as well. Because the Bluetooth only covers one ear, so it doesn't work really well. So you need to shop around and get the right headsets. I go through a ridiculous amount of headsets. Um, I'll probably say at least five a week. When, you know, when the call center is fully operational. What software do you need? Server, run it on Visidal. Visidal is a Linux system, and it will give it. The, um, Visidal is an automatic dialer. It will do most of the work for you. Um, I used a quad core machine with 16 gig of memory um, and it was using black Seagate drives. Um, that was fine, it was only using something like 4% of the processor, even with 30 people dialing on it and recording every single call as it was going. Swap the codecs on there, put a G729 codec on, and the G729 will actually increase the number of calls you can do on a line. Um, we do, I think it's 15 people can dial on a 5 meg line, but that's not 15 calls. That's 15 people dialing, um, and you could have three calls per person at a time. So you're actually dialing 45 calls at a time. Um, because obviously you're getting people hang up, you're getting answer machines, you're getting uh, disconnected phone numbers, and you want to keep your agents constantly on the phone there's a should be a gap of about two three seconds per call on our call center um what do you need for your soft phone each pc you want to put x light x light cheap i think it's actually free it might even be free the because the bria which is the multi-call version is the um the all singing all dancing version you don't need it because what happens is when you run your system Everything's going through Visidar. Visidar's making all the calls, then sending it to the agents one after the other. So you don't, they're not actually dialing at all on the PC. It's instantly going bang, screen comes up, incoming call, and it will come up, depending on how you set it up, it comes up Mrs. Jones at such and such address, all on the screen coming out of Visidar. Visidar will do most of the work. Now, the contact relation manager, manager shop around if you're going to use one. Personally, I don't really use one. I don't need to. Um, the main reason being is for telemarketing, telesales, you're hitting them, and then the the system's actually logging that they had a call, which dates they had the call, did you speak to somebody, uh, was it answer machine, did it ring, etc. Visidar remembers all that anyway. So that's only a bit on telemarketing and telesales I'm interested in. And also if you put sold, it puts it to sale, so people don't call it again anyway. So from that point of view, I don't bother with CRM. But if you were actually going to do, say, business calls, where you've got a lot of callbacks, you've got people that are, um, say you're doing events, event management, you need to call people back because like a month before, six weeks before, you're letting people know there's an event. Four, four weeks before, you're trying to confirm whether people are going or not. Two weeks before, you're reminding them that they're going. So you have a different chain. So a CRM is important then. Um, v Tiger works with um, Visidial, but I found it really buggy. It wasn't really good at it. Um, so that's what I'm saying. Shop around because I, did, I didn't need one. So I'm not recommending any. Uh, most of the stuff I manage is in here or I use some Excel spreadsheets and stuff because I'm Excel mad. Um, what else would you need? So you've changed your codex, you've got, you know you need to make sure you've got good headsets. Uh, the PCs could be very basic, cheapest chips. Main thing is that there are ones that aren't going to overheat because if you've got like 20, 30 PCs side by side, they soon warm up. If you're actually going to do this, I would actually look at low energy ones because the cheaper they are to run, plus they, they don't get as hot, it means lower running costs, lower cooling costs for the building, and 
they just need to be basic machines because they're not doing anything fancy. Um, but I think that pretty much covers it. But with Visidial, before you even set up a call center, get your hands on it. It's free. Download it. Get a dedicated computer. Set it up because it's Linux. If you haven't worked with Linux before, this is all going to be new to you. And I'll tell you now, it took me a month to understand how to use Visidial well. It took me about three months to fine-tune it. Now, when I say fine-tune it, I'm talking my call costs were coming in at about $250 for about, what was that, about 30, 30 people dialing, $250 a week. Uh, well, the call center was coming about four or five hundred calls, uh, four hundred, four or five hundred dollars. But the other thing is, my hit rate was higher because my dial is running faster. But it was how it's fi fine tuned for hanging up if it got an answer machine, hanging up if it's a dead dead call, hanging up if there's no phone line, etc. Those little bits of tweaking are the important bits. And then we'll get into data next. Where do you get your leads from? Um, you need to tell me because I know where I get mine from but in the industry nobody will help you I'll tell you that now nobody will help you because the leads are where the money is this is why we got a higher conversion rate because our leads I've got Experian data I've got people's credit scores I know how much they've got on their mortgage I know which way their house is facing I know whether it's north south facing etc for solar panels that stuff comes with progress, comes with time. People don't just give you that on a silver platter because that is where the golden money is.